All right, so here we are at G3 with uh, Mr. Kofi. Kofi, oh, forget on that. So he, he, he may sound a little funny, but uh, so Kofi, again, meeting you at G3, what have you enjoyed the most? What was the, the session you enjoyed most? And then what outside of the sessions have you enjoyed most here at G3? It says the session I enjoyed the most. So just came out of Costi Hin session, speaking on spirit-led worship. That alone was worth the cost of admission for me. That was so good kind of dealing with what it looks like when the spirit is at work in our worship and dealing with some of our how sometimes we allow our preferences to inform that rather than allowing scripture to do that in both directions so that was really good I mean and outside of the sessions I mean the reason you come to G3 is like a family reunion you know you catch up with everyone including this troublemaker um, you catch wait, wait, which troublemaker I'm not a troublemaker you must be referring to you no, nope, referring to you. Um, you catch up with all kinds of people that you haven't seen. Um, you're hearing about all these great ministries and the work they're doing. And sometimes you go back and it's like, oh, the work's increased even further than when you were last here. So that's always a great joy. Okay, so some things have changed with what you're doing ministry-wise. So let's talk about the ministry you're doing where you are back in, in Oregon. Yep. Uh, so I'm involved in a church plant in Oregon called Grace Community Church of the Rogue Valley. Uh, pastor by a master seminary graduate called Parker Reardon. We're about six, seven months old, so still really, really young, but you know, lots to be encouraged about. And yeah, just cover your prayers for that. If you want more information, visit us at gccroguevalley.org. And so you do some of the preaching and people still stay, huh? Somehow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I needed to get the laugh at least once. All right, so so uh, we were talking about, you are mentioning Costi's uh, talk, but there's been a lot of talks here on the topic of worship. How do you think worship affects people as far as we think about the church? So many people think it, worship is just the singing of songs. And then it's like, okay, now that the worship's over, we'll start the preaching. Uh, define for folks what worship is and why it's so important for the local church. Well, I would say that worship is every expression of adoration and praise towards our God for who he is and what he's done. And I think when you think of it that way, then you get out of the mindset of thinking, oh, it's just the music time. Because preaching, rightly understood, is a declaration of what, who God is and what he's done. When we give, that's an act of worship. When we partake of the Lord's table, that's an act of worship. When we, when we witness a baptism take place, that's an act of worship. All of these are acts of worship. And so then we cannot just confine ourselves to saying what is just about the music or a particular style of music and that was the worship time. No. In a real sense, all of life, for the believer, if we're trying to live to glorify God, becomes an act of worship. All right. Well, thank you for your time, Mr. Kofi. I'm going to go get myself some coffee. I mean, oh, oh, sorry. You're funny. <laughs>